to Ukraine now, and a Russian missile attack has killed at least 14 people in the city of Chernihiv, according to officials there. Dozens of other residents have been wounded, and the authorities have appealed urgently for blood donations. The missile strikes hit an eight-story building and others nearby. Ukraine's President Zelensky says it wouldn't have happened if Western allies had supplied enough air defences. James Waterhouse reports from Kyiv. Bus passengers die for cover after two missiles hit nearby. What follows is the haunting sound of a third. In Chernihiv, airstrikes happen with little notice. Russia tried and failed to take this city, but with its border only 60 miles away, the skies bring a constant threat. I was walking my dog, says Maxim. I heard a hit, then the second and the third. I thought it was air defence working. The explosions are followed by a familiar recovery routine, with the number of dead expected to rise. For Ukrainians, there is no escaping Russia's invasion, and their leader keeps asking his allies for more air defences. With our partners, we work to get more real help, to achieve true equality in the defence against terror, for the same rules to apply to us here in Ukraine. With Western military aid continuing to deplete, Ukraine is increasingly fighting this war on its own. James Waterhouse reporting from the Ukrainian capital. Well, let's hear now from BBC Verifiers Olga Robinson. She has been assessing the latest footage. As you've just seen, this was the moment a Russian missile hit the city of Chernihiv earlier today. And you can see people here looking at the smoke in the distant distance and then there is an explosion. And we've checked this and this video is new. We also know it was filmed in Chernihiv because details in it like this bus over here and the um, building in the distance do match the area. And so far Ukrainian officials have said 14 people were killed and more than 60 were wounded. As you can see from this picture that was posted by President Volodymyr Zelensky, several floors of a building that was directly hit were badly damaged. Now, just to remind you, Chernihiv is quite close to the Russian border. It's only 100 kilometers away. That's about 60 miles. And at the start of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine in 2022, the city was under siege for more than a month. Now, the attack on Chernihiv uh, happened just hours after reports of a Ukrainian attack on a Russian airfield here in the annex Crimea. Here's a recent satellite imagery from uh, the airfield that you can see helicopters that are stationed there uh, as well as other aircraft. We also know that this airfield is in heavy use because it's been described by independent media as uh, Russia's main logistics hub for its operations in southern Ukraine. Now, local telegram ch channels have posted this video earlier today claiming to show explosions at that airfield, which is located in the city of Jankoy. Now, the video is very dark, as you can see, but there are just about enough details uh, like the um, trees and the lamppost and some of the pavement that we can match it to a location to um, a nearby location in the residential area. Now a NASA satellite has also picked up signs of active fires around the airfield overnight and you can see them here in red on this heat map. Now some social media channels have also posted this image claiming to show the aftermath of the strike and we know the picture is new because we've checked but we are still trying to verify the location so we haven't been able to independently verify this picture and we haven't seen any official statements from Russia on this yet either. Now Russian military infrastructure in Crimea has been a regular target of Ukrainian attacks since the full-scale invasion began and as Ukraine is expecting a large Russian offensive for late spring or early summer we're likely to see more more images like this emerge online.